Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. And today I bring you our January launch items. Um, so our items will launch on the 13th of January, which is a Friday, um, and they will launch at 9 p.m. GMT. So an hour earlier than usual. Um, I will still be getting over jet lag. So we are going for 9 p.m. on the 13th of January. But we have some exciting, well-awaited items to bring you for January. It is the launch of our trashy tray. Uh, so this is our little tray. If I show you, let me grab... So this is a zesty tray, um, this is an add more zest tray, so the full size. So that's the full size, that is the smaller, but our little, our little trashy tray is primarily for holding the trash diamonds, the ones that don't make the cut for your diamond painting. Um, we're also launching alongside it our five centimeter grip mat. So this is my well used grip mat, but this will hold your trashy tray. And then the other side, you can stick it to your painting, to your cover paper, to your top sheet, wherever it is that you would like it to stay um, while you're working on your diamond painting and then you can use the side to knock the paint uh, knock the diamond off your pen if you've picked up one or you can just drop them in there yourself whichever suits so we have the five centimeter grip mat in both clear and black um, two different colorways for that one these are a stock item so if they do go out of stock for whatever reason, they will be restocked. Um, then for the trashy trays, we have our three colours, our three standard colours that we do our trays in all the time. These are standard stock trays. So these will also be available all the time. Then we do have some limited edition trashy trays. Now they are a little bit different to our limited edition Add More Zest trays or our bigger ones in the fact that we do have a few hundred of each of these. So hopefully they should stay in stock for quite a bit longer. Uh, we have four colours. So we have a black one, we have a red and we have a blue. Then we also have one that is a tricolour. Now we did pick this up thinking of doing trays with it, uh, but we weren't major happy with the three colours in a tray, uh, but it has some green, some blue and some orange. So each tray will be slightly different, which is why I have two of them here. This one has a blue bottom, this one has an orange bottom. Uh, this has blue on the side, a little bit of green on the end and then a mixture of orange and blue on the other side. Um, so while we weren't, you know, while we didn't want to necessarily do these in a big tray, we do actually think they're quite cute in a trashy tray. Uh, so each one may vary slightly. Um, there are some, of course, that look similar in with the few hundred we have. Um, but just bear in mind it may have a different colour bottom if you think once it's on your tray and that's what you look at uh, you may see different colours with those so yeah these are limited in the fact um, you know that we will have them until stock sells out and then we may end up replacing them with a different colour um, but these will always be available so details of them all are on the website so that you can go and have a look. You can sign up to be notified via email when they do go live, uh, but we should have enough of these unless you lot shock us all over again. Um, 
we should have enough that you know you don't have to buy them this month if money is a bit tight which is what we try to do for January um, having said that we do have some clearance items for January so let me zoom you back out because the little trashy trays are quite cute and diddy um, but some of the clearance items are bigger so first up for clearance we do have some logbook entries in pink um, that I think they're all pre-punched but the website will let you know these are the logbook extras so the quantity in them is correct however these are from when we did have some printer problems so the actual insert pages are the pink is a lot darker than our normal logbook is like quite extreme darkness compared to the paleness of our normal logbook inserts so if you don't mind the color being more saturated um, and bolder you can still write on these uh, but if you're happy with the colors to be slightly different then you can get yourself a little bit of a bargain on your logbook inserts in pink uh, so we have a selection of those. We also then have a couple of items that that we got potentially for going in our ever popular advent calendar, um, but they didn't suit what we wanted for our advent. So the first one is these foldable bags. Um, we wanted to be able to put our design on these our design on here however due to the material it wasn't suitable for us to put our design on um, and we weren't able to return these so it's a foldable shopping bag it's still perfectly workable as a shopping bag it just didn't suit our needs for the advent so we did replace it with something different um, we went for a tote bag instead but we have these in two different colorways so we have the navy with the cream and the gray with the black so if you need a little shopping bag to pop in your handbag that you can pull out when you go to the shops then you may as well throw one of these in because they're cheap enough uh, but they're gone when they're gone the other item we have that didn't make it into the advent is these little macaroons. Uh, we didn't realise they were the ones that you have to pull the top off rather than unscrew them. So the idea uh, that we had for these initially was to pop um, a couple of like nuts you know from nuts and bolts a couple of small ones in there for you to pop your diamonds in that maybe are stuck together back to back you could pop them in you could pop the lid on uh, give them a good shake and hopefully it will break them apart uh, but because they are pull tops we felt that that could cause more accidents the knot. So we also change these to be a different item in the advent calendar. But in turn, we have some of these if maybe you want them for to store your wax in. Maybe you want to store a few pen tips in there for when you're popping things in your little toolbox and on the go. Or maybe you're quite happy to put you know a couple of bolts in uh, a couple of nuts in there and use it to shake up your diamonds and just be careful when you take the top off uh, there's a few different things that you could do with these you could potentially have the top off and use it on a sticky mat as a little trash type bin or maybe a portable trash bin you can pop the lid on when you're done and take it home with you pop it as say in your little tool pouch or something for on the go there's a few different things you could store in these you could even use them for earrings and things uh, but we do have these on clearance because they didn't make it to our advent it will be a random color so it will just be grab out of the bag random color for that one um so yeah they are the items that didn't make it 
into our advent calendar. We do also have just a few um, items that are left over from doing the advent calendars that we will be selling off cheaper than we would have sold if they became a stock item. So uh, say they're limited, but maybe you can grab yourself an extra or maybe if you missed out on the calendar, um, you can grab yourself one. So the first one is our Add More Zest key ring. This is on leather um, with a gold clasp. Uh, so we have a few of those key rings. I say not many, but we do have a few of those available. And then we have some leftover of the diamonds that went in some of the calendars. So we have the round diamonds in this gorgeous blue which is DMC 3766. Absolutely beautiful they are. Gorgeous colour. This colour was actually in the advent as well. So if you haven't done your advent and you have it in round, you could choose to bling it up a little bit more with this blue. And yes, that was chosen on purpose to get the same blue as the advent. And we also have um the silver so these are silver rhinestones um, and the top part of them is that one there so it does have like a full silver over the top it is a clear rhinestone underneath but the part you see is full silver so we have some of those as well that is all the advent items in some form or other that we have in clearance. In addition, we do have some trays that are in clearance. Um, there is various reasons why they're in clearance. The main one being, and it does depend on which ones, uh, but we do have a few of the trays that actually went into some of the advents. These are a dual colour. So we have a blue and a pink or a purple and a, a, a pink and a blue that kind of looks purple. Uh, some of these have these ridges down the bottom, but a lot of them it is because when these are 3D printed, these sit on the bed and occasionally this can lift up off the bed and mean that there is uh, a small hole at the end, smaller than what fits a stopper. So none of these come with stoppers. So bear that in mind if you do use stoppers. None of them come with it. You might be able to see it a bit better on there. It is smaller than the end of a normal tray. Uh, so each of them I have taken photos of what I consider the worst of the trays. Um, so let's say some of these it, it's got really, really close when it's been printing, so it has not printed a pretty edge. But all of the trays can still be used for diamonds, so you can still straighten up your diamonds in them. Um, and it feels a bit of a waste to just get rid of them on that basis. We've got quite a few different ones, so that's Zesty. Um, these grey ones which are actually the larger trays, have got knocked during printing and they have just shuffled over ever so slightly. Uh, so you may see this actually goes a little bit further out. This one comes a little bit further in. Uh, again, a lot of it is uh, the aesthetic rather than the practicality. The actual tray part of these are fine but the top isn't. I'm trying to think what else we have. Again, this one won't fit a stopper. This one's actually really small where it's lifted. This was our Christmas red one in Zesty. So it's got a very small hole. We even have some purple glitter. That one's probably even smaller. I'm not sure if we look at those two small ones compared to the nor this is more the normal size the gray one uh, this is in clearance for a different reason i'm not sure if you can tell but they're definitely smaller 
they will still fit diamonds through though so they will still do what they are supposed to do <coughs> we also have some that I say a lot of them it is the nozzle and i've tried to take the images of that but i know there is some others that are for another reason that one's the nozzle but also the bottom i think it was the white here we go so there's a white here where actually this end is fine but it has lifted on this back corner so it's actually caused and i'm trying to find something to hold it up against it's actually caused it to lift up quite a bit on this back corner which does affect where your finger hole is and things like that um, while some of our trays we do state can have an imperfection on the bottom um, we don't tend to send out ones that are fully lifted and not straight as they're supposed to be like that so i have put i say i have put images putting the worst or what I think is the worst of them up there so it may be that you get that one it may be that you get one that's slightly better but they are all um, capable of being worked in the actual tray the only one that might give you a little bit of a hiccup depending on how you diamond paint is the green one this one is there I'm not sure if you can see there is a little line all the way down the middle and again I have done this uh, I have taken a photo of it you can still slide your diamonds it's not a hump it's a divot uh, but you may find that if you're trying to slide a big row of diamonds that they do knock in on that one but that's why again they're discounted quite heavily um, so that you can so that you're fully aware that there is damages to the trays and then last but by no means least we have some pens that have arrived damaged or become damaged in the process some of them we only have one or two some of them we have more but again they all tend to have like a chip in one end we have made sure that there is still one end that you can put a plastic tip in or a metal tip but quite a lot of them do have chips in um, so please note you're not getting a perfect pen cheap these are damaged and again i've tried to take photos of them of the worst culprits so that you can see they are fully damaged but there will be another end so it is still workable they're just not as pretty but that's why they're cheap uh, for a couple of the metal pens they're slightly different so we have one here that just has an extra ridge where it shouldn't be it should look like this side and then we have a black one that has a little bit of silver showing through so some things have more imperfections than others, but as I say, I have tried to make sure that the worst is visible. So bear that in mind. If you do order these, it's not a matter of, you know, returning it because you weren't aware of the defect. It is in the pictures as clear as possible. So yeah, I think, oh no, we do have more. I've just spotted them underneath the trays that will be going up uh, we do also have one of our pouches um, there has been an error with creating it it has lost part of the e and the z looks a little bit tipsy uh, in fact the e looks tipsy as well so there's been an error when producing that that one and then we have a couple of errors with some of the older grey pouches uh, again we have wonky lettering on the m and on this one we have a wonky diamond so it may be one or the other that you get um, it will just be a matter of grabbing whichever one is handy for the next order so bear in mind you could get either but the pictures are up there for
for both so that you know it will be one or the other that you will get. Um, I say we have tried to put the worst pictures so if you do like things a little bit more perfect then maybe this faulty clearance items aren't the best for you um, but these aren't I mean the logbook you could class that as faulty because it did print a lot darker uh, but these advent things aren't faulty they are just extras and then of course we have our standard stock um, with the standards that that we want and that seems like a very long video but I do want to make it extremely clear to people what is wrong with things uh, and what sort of faults there are especially in the likes of the trays and things because they will be up say well they are up to see on the website and they are available to buy quite cheap but you do need to be aware of the faults with them but yeah we just didn't have the heart to throw them away basically when the actual diamond painting tray itself is fully workable and we know there are quite a few people that don't use stoppers so it may be that actually having it a little bit smaller at that end and a little bit raised up on another side doesn't bother somebody. Um, and if that's the case, then you can grab yourself a bargain. Um, otherwise, our normal trays will be perfectly fine for you. So yeah, do uh, pop any questions in the comments below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. As this video goes up, I am actually flying back from Australia, so it may take me a little bit to get to your comments, uh, but I will endeavour to get to them all, of course, before we go live on the 13th of January. Clearance items are limited. But our trashy trays and grip mats shall be here for quite a bit more to come. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.